What's up, everybody? What's up? How's everybody doing this morning? Welcome to another. Welcome to another episode of Legacy Move. Give me a second. Give me a second. Trying to get things organized this morning. Trying to get things organized this morning. How's everybody doing? You get your three W's this morning. You get your three W's this morning, y'all. word, your wisdom, and your work out. Man, hey man, if something simple is sitting in front of your TV, sitting in front of your TV, you can do all three of them while you listen to your wisdom. You can be doing your couple squats or making up your bed. How about making up your bed while you're doing, while you listen to your word, making that the first thing, number one priority in the morning. And then when you're listening to your wisdom, when you cut on the program, when you're learning something, putting something up here, you're doing your couple squats, couple sit-ups, couple push-ups. Real simple. Let's not make this hard. You can sit there and do your couple squats, sit down, hit your coffee, do your couple more squats, sit down, hit your coffee, get you some push-ups, sit down, hit your coffee, just whatever, just, just do something instead of doing nothing. Every day, you know, or put your headphones on or your earbuds on, put you some wisdom or some word on in the mornings and uh, walk. For about 30 minutes. Get your blood circulating. Walk your dog. You know, whatever. If you ain't got no dog, just go walking. Put your head zone out. Think about your plans. Put your put your word on. Let it ooze through your body, man. Get you some uh get a vibration of success running through you. Even if you half ass paying attention while you're cleaning up or working. You know, walking or thinking of something else. Let that, let the, and you daydreaming while you're walking. Let that vibration run through you while you, uh, while you, while you walking. Or while you moving. You know, I cut stuff on, did, did, did some word or some wisdom or some Bible or anything on me. And I could be over here working on my computer. But I'm still, but I'm letting the vibration run through me. And I catch nuggets here and there. Sometimes I ain't paying attention. But it's on. So I'm progressing. It's, it's, it's uh, spiritual. That's, how, that's why they tell you to listen to certain things, certain vibrations when you sleep. Listen to certain messages when you sleep. Or cut the shit off. Don't, 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 don't. Uh, you know, the main thing is don't listen to no demonic messages while you sleep. Yeah. yeah. Don't listen to no demonic message because here's what you're going to be feeding that while you sleep too. See, when we kids, that's why we got fucked up because we listen to a bunch of bullshit while we sleeping. That shit just programming in our head subconsciously. We don't even know it. We don't grew up to be fucking monsters. Grew up to be monsters, y'all. Give me two seconds. Take care of my people. I always business first. I want to teach my kid, take care of your business first. Hey, man, I want to thank everybody. I'm trying to let everybody kind of tune in and get in. You know, get the algorithms up a little bit. Man, hey, man, thank everybody for the viewership, man. I'm getting 11, 12,000 views now, man. So my, my, my stuff is growing. Stuff is growing. The, the channel's growing. You know, God is building us up, man. We, 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 uh, Gas Station Podcast is getting bigger and bigger and bigger every second, man. And 
you know, uh, man, I just thank everybody, man, for the support, you know, that we getting and how the channel has overnight starting to take off, man. And uh, I guess y'all like what I'm saying. I guess y'all getting your three W's, man, and I appreciate that, man. You know, definitely appreciate it, man. So today... In the podcast, bro. Today in the podcast, we're going to talk about your haters. We're going to talk about your haters, man. And we're going to talk about... So I'm going to put your haters... In a... Uh, from worst to greatest. From your least... To your greatest. So, we're going to talk about that in the gas station, man. Before we get to talking about the subject, man. Gas station podcast, feuding ground for the mind, the body, and the soul. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, make sure y'all get your likes up. Make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all keep supporting the channel. And we thank you for your support for the channel. Uh, we get awesome ratings, get awesome reviews. And hey, man, year in the game, growing, and nonstop consistency, man. The consistency, then I got my, I'm in my own lane, you know. I got my own message to tell. And so God has blessed me and where I'm. At. And so I thank him first and foremost, and I thank y'all second and foremost for the support that everybody's giving and how we are building what an awesome, 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 awesome thing, man, and uh, my business is kind of going a little bit, so nobody wants me to, I guess, uh, distractions. You know, <laughs> I call it distractions. You know, distraction. They don't. They don't want me to focus in because when I'm finna talk about, man, when I'm finna talk about, I declare it goes viral because this is important, and yeah, you can see uh, some of these forces. Which, you know, they know I'm going to prioritize this because they know that uh, they might not want what this mouth is going to spew out to spew out. And we're going to talk about your three haters, man. And we're going to talk about all three haters from least to greatest. We're going to talk about all three haters from least to greatest. We're going to talk about all three haters from least to greatest. Receipt. Bada boom, bada bing. Take care of your people. You take care of your people. They'll take care of you, man. Prioritize your customers. Your customers are always right, man. Take care of your customers. I always take care of my customers because my customers take care of me. That's the way the business goes, man. I don't worry about me. As long as I take care of my customers, as long as I bring value to my customers, my customers will bring value to me. In return, I will re be reciprocated a reward. God is good. Hey, man. Today on the gas station, we're going to talk about your three biggest haters. We're going to talk about your three biggest haters. I'm going I'm to talk from... The least biggest hater to the biggest hater. I'm going to talk about there's more than this. But I'm going to put three, you know, I'm going to keep it because I can keep it within a framework of time. But I'm going to talk about the three that I think are our biggest haters. Uh, well, uh, some of these some big ones. These some big ones. These some big ones. These some big ones. 
be some big ones. That second one is going to be exciting to uh, a lot of people because, yeah, 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 the haters. That's what y'all going to say. But guess what? It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you to pay attention. It's up to you to pay attention. In fact, the second one, I'm finna put third. But the second one really ain't the second one. He's really the third. He's really the lowest on the totem pole of the haters. He's really the lowest on the totem pole of the haters. So I'm gonna put the second one, the third, and y'all gonna be like, yeah, yeah, he is a hater. He is a hater. That's what y'all gonna say. Cause that's what y'all wanna hear. That's what y'all wanna hear. So we're gonna start with the least, who I consider the least hater of all our haters. Because, hold on, let me pull on. I see that legacy moves, y'all. Y'all stay tapped in. Stay tapped. Right, can y'all see? All right, I'm gonna, so we're gonna tap in to the least, to the most important hater. Okay, so we're gonna number three. We're well, we gonna put in number two, but I decided to put him at number three because he's the least of our worries. Number three. Of your haters, the bottom of the pit, the bottom of the of the of, the, of uh, the category, who I think is your the least you have to worry about. That is the white man. The white man hit number three on the list of your haters. Yeah, the white man is number three on the list is your haters, man. Yeah, the white man is a hater, man. Damn, man. You got it. He should be number one. No, nah, hell no. Nah. He should be number three. Number three. And guess what I've learned? He really don't give a damn. He really don't give a damn. Not no more. Like, not like way back in the day and back then. He really didn't get, he really wasn't no hater. He just shit, he paid for you. He paid for us. Not for you, for us. I'm a black man too. He paid for us. And shit. He felt like we was his property. And so he treated us like shit. I ain't giving him no passes, no excuses. But guess what? That's what he did to us. And we all know it. And so we don't have to give him no passes, no excuses. Because he know he treated us like shit. He know he bought and paid for us. He know he raped and ravaged. He know that he did whatever he wanted to with his property. Beat, kill, work the shit out of, treated inhumanely. And guess what? He ain't changed much. He ain't changed much. No, he ain't changed much. You know. But see, the problem is It ain't just him. This is savage. It's all of us are savage. He's a savage. We're savage. You know. And we ain't no worse than buying a, a dog, a pet bull, fighting him for money. Hold on. I'm, 
Hey, y'all, cat, I'm in the middle of my podcast. Let me call you right back. I'm in the middle of my podcast. Let me call you right back. Okay, guys. Right. Smart Kathy. He ain't no worse than us. Well, you know, we want to always demonize and make everybody worse than us, but he ain't no worse than us. See, the problem... What we haven't realized is why we hate the white man so much. It's because we miss one of the Ten Commandments. And we constantly miss one of the Ten Commandments. That's the reason why we war, rob, steal, kill. That's the reason why we want affirmative action. That's why we look at what they got versus what we got. That's why we try to force our way in their jobs and their businesses. Because we miss one of the greatest commandments. I think, I think it's the greatest commandment as I live and as I get older. It's called, thou shall not covet. I think everybody's life will change exponentially. If thou shall not covet. We so worried about what they got, what they doing. We want to be so much a part of them. We want to be so much a part of their businesses. We force them legislation. Hey, we need affirmative action. We need to force our way in their businesses. They won't allow us to get in their businesses. They won't allow us leadership in their businesses. No. They don't even want us there. And so it creates more animosity, more hatred, more ill will because we want to be with them so fucking bad that we'll do anything to be a part of their society. We won't create our own society. The same shit they got, the same thing they got, we beg them for jobs. Oh, I can't get no job. He won't give me, he won't give me no job. The same shit they got, the same shit they doing, we can do ourselves. Now, yeah, I get it if it's a government job, government related. We got affirmative action, making sure everybody has equal wages, equal rights in government. Facilitated jobs, state, local, municipal, federal. Yeah. We need that. We need an equal playing field when it comes to municipal, federal, state government, government bureaucracies. Yeah, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need an opportunity when it comes to those kind of jobs, different things like that. Yeah, they have no right. Whether you gay, whether you black, Mexican, white, foreign, do have an upper hand on that, in my opinion, also. But private industry, Coca-Cola, Ford, GM, Microsoft, if the goddamn white man don't want to sell shit, we're going to create our own. We make our own way. We learn how to fish where we don't have to beg, borrow, and add. Make them come to us. See, success make people come to you. Talent makes people come to you. Value, scarcity makes people come to you. When you ain't got shit to offer and you just need and you begging a motherfucker to give you something. It might not come to you. It might, might not. Now you mad at them because they gave it to another white boy who they want to spend their day with. I keep telling y'all about racism. You better get racist too. You better get racist too. Ain't nothing wrong with them being racist. Taking care of their race. You better start doing the same thing. Everybody else do it. We put more emphasis 
in trying to be a part of them than trying to be a part of ourselves. So yeah, he's a hater. But he's not a hater because he's a hater. He's a hater because you're trying to force your way into his house and he don't want you there. You're trying to force your way into his business and he don't want you there. Because you're not using your God access just like God said. He created you in his image and God was a creator. Create your own. Make your own way. Sacrifice. Build your own business. Build your own legacy. Legacy moves, man. Legacy moves. Get that like up, man, if y'all like that, man. Get that like up if you like that. Or you waiting on them to give you something. Or you mad at them. Or they a hater because they don't want you there. Hell no, they don't want you there. And once you recognize it, recognize that we need to create our own, create our own brand, create, they'll come to us. And guess what? They'll do business with us. You don't have to force them to do business with you because everybody wants to do business with greatness. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, if you have some value, you don't have to ask them. They will recruit you. See, the greatest school students in college, when they come out of college, guess what? They recruited. The greatest athletes, they send scouts out to recruit them. The greatest musicians, they send scouts out to recruit them. They're looking for talent. See, the people who have to fill out applications and ask for a job and oh, they ain't giving me nothing are people who have no talent or basically probably half-ass do things or maybe consistent but just do just enough to get by. They're not using their God's creative ability. So no. The white man is going to be your biggest hater. He don't want you around. And not only he don't want you around, guess what? Nobody else wants your sorry ass around. And the only reason you want to be around him anyway is because you are coveting. You are looking what they have, they got, and you are mad at them because they got it instead of congratulating them. And learning from them. So the white man is going to be, is, is your lowest on the total pole. He was going to be second, but I decided to put him third. Because really he's third because, you know, he's really your hater because you keep looking at what he got. You keep coveting what he got and you think you deserve to be a part of his success versus creating your own success. And yeah, I know he's holding you back and all of that. Because he ain't letting you in the door. Create your own door to walk through. Create your own door to walk through. Nothing no another man can do to you if you get out of your psyche, your mentality, if you want what he got. And you measure your life or your success based on what he got. That door, that, that invisible door would disappear if you could measure your life on what he has and appreciate what you have. So that's number one, man. That's, that's, that's number one. That's the lowest on my totem pole of your haters. Number two, number two, number two. Number two, your biggest hater is his television and his radio. This television and this radio is your second biggest hater. Oh, me guys, the goddamn television and the radio is my biggest hater. My second biggest hater. It's number two. Because what's what they call the television? Everything you watch, they call them programs. 
They call them programs. And they programming you. Every time you watch these shows, and you agree with them, and you watch these images, and you listen to these images, then your it constantly is repeated. It's on repeat. It's on repeat. It's on repeat all day long. And all you doing is programming a bunch of demonic bullshit all day long. Black men in dresses. Listen to this bullshit about Puffy fucking niggas in the ass. Watching gang bullshit all day. Watching murder violence. All day. Going into the blackest of the hood, eating the hot chips all day. Looking at big booty bitches all day. Fuck Donald Trump all day. Fuck the police all day. Looking at black folks impoverished all day. Ain't learned nothing. Ain't watched nothing that's going to develop you. Ain't cut the phone, the TV, social media off at all. The radio off at all. Listening to the audio book. Listen to things that's going to enhance your bill, you grow, you put some money in your pocket. What you begging for? You listen, watching death and destruction all day long. And you're listening and you got the earbuds in your ears. And you're listening to death and destruction all day long. Denigrating leadership. Just everything that... To, and, and you just agree with it and you're bopping and you're dancing and you're prancing. Kill my ops all day long. Pants hanging down, looking stupid as hell. No education. They teach you on it. Oh, you don't need your education no more. Yeah, I knew I didn't need my education no more. Shit, man, that, that, that ain't nothing that, that's going to make me no money. Guess who the, the, the ones who believe that more than anybody? Listen to Steve Harvey. Oh, I didn't get my education. It's niggas. Bunch of niggas listen to, to, uh, to a motherfucker that it is. One in a million talent. Telling you not to get your education. And we believe that bullshit. And we wonder why we broke. And we're looking for a way to come up and we can't figure it out because we don't know how to fish. We don't know how to go out and make money every day. And when we make money, they send products. Now they got this data shit where they, well, why you watching? Why they programming you there? Every time you look at something, they send you a million of that same product, all this, so you can't get it off your mind. So all you think about is that product, and you end up buying it. And they done sent it to you from about 20 different websites, different products, they got the same thing. Then you end up spending your money, getting your money right back you done work hard for. Yeah. Man. That TV and that radio is a bigger hater than the white man. And y'all know who in control of that TV and that radio. And they giving you their narrative and they selling you their products and they controlling your mind.
like they want to control it because you believe every fucking thing you see on that goddamn TV as a reality. And you watch that shit in awe and think that's what you want. You don't love you. So that TV, you love that TV. And that radio, guess how I know it? Because you spend your day with it. Probably spend more time with your TV and your radio than you do with your family. Than you do at work. Or at work, you got it on all day. Sneaking. You even break the rules of sneaking this and that bullshit. You let it program you. I always remember, you are what you eat. And like I always tell y'all, all these vegans and all these meat lovers and all, I eat meat and vegan, I eat pork and bacon and everything. In fact, my, my girl in there cooking some bacon right now and cinnamon rolls. Finna enjoy it too. But guess what? I get my three W's every day. And guess what? I'm more concerned about what I feed up here than what I feed in here. Because I know that what I feed here is acted out here. I digest it here in my actions. What I feed my mind is what I digest in my actions. What I feed my mouth, I digest it in the toilet bowl. Don't matter if it's healthy or not healthy. Junk food, whatever. I'm gonna digest the healthy or the non-healthy in the, in the toilet bowl. So it is what it is. So my more mind is more focused on what I'm gonna digest here in my daily actions, in my success. See? Thank man. Number two, your biggest hater, your second biggest hater, is what you program your mind all day on this TV and this radio. Access good stuff, access things that you can make you better. Get your three W's, get your word and your wisdom every day, man. Don't sit up and feed yourself bullshit all day and you ain't fed yourself nothing good. Because you're going to act it out. And your life is a result of what you feed here and here. So if your life fucked up, you ain't got shit, and you mad and you worry about what everybody else got and you broke because you ain't feed your the right mental and spiritual food. And you being tricked and you being able to believe everybody else's narrative but your own. See, God has a plan for you just like he got a plan for everybody else. And if you distracted by smoking mirrors, by listening to everybody else's plan instead of listening to what God's plan is for you, you will be fucked up. That's number two, man. That TV and that radio, man, is your second biggest hater. Your first biggest hater, man, is your number one fucking hater, man. Is your number one hater. And I ain't got to go into this long. But it is your number one hater, man. And until you get this right, you're going to stay fucked up. Your first biggest hater is yourself. Self-hatred. Self-denigration. Self-destruction is your biggest fucking hater. You are your biggest hater. All you do is sit around all day looking at pretty mansions, pretty cars that other people have and wish it was yours. You sit around in a nasty fucking house Nasty room. You wake up. Don't make up your own bed. But you turn on the TV and look at beautiful things that everybody else got. 
and it just eats, eats you alive. Eats you alive because you don't know how to have self-love and love on yourself. See, the adverse of love is hate. And until you learn to love yourself, you hating on yourself. Until you learn to take care of yourself and find beauty in you, you hating on yourself. And you your worst enemy, man. You your biggest hater. I know you want to blame everybody else to be your biggest hater. The white boy, this, that, that, the, the job, the boss, your family, your wife, the motherfucker who raped you, who killed you, who stole from you. I know they hating on you, robbed you, but you worse than them. You worse than them, your self-hate, man. Your self-destruction, your self-denigration, man. Your lack of self-awareness, your lack of, of self-growth. Your lack of skill, your lack of value, your lack of knowledge. It's your biggest enemy. It's your biggest hater. And until you think about you, till you get you together, till you develop you, ain't nobody out hating you but you. And you will never be successful. And you will never have what you want. Until you start learning to love you first. You want to love everybody else more than you love yourself. You want to love your children. You want to love your mama. You want to love your friends. Oh, I did so much for them and they didn't do shit back. You want to love motherfuckers you don't even know. You want to take a, a woman you don't even know because she got a big ass and a pretty face. She spent all your goddamn money up on her on the first motherfucking date and she don't do shit for you but take your money and run. Self-hate a motherfucker, man. Self-hate a motherfucker, man. Self-hate is the worst. And that's your biggest hater. No lack of love for yourself. And until you learn to love yourself, guess what? You're going to always be your biggest hater. So he, who is without sin, throw the first stone. Don't look at nobody else until you stop coveting, looking at what other people got. Trying to force your way into other people's establishments. Till you start loving, getting yourself together, taking care of your home, taking care of your house, taking care of your body, taking care of your mind. You're going to be fucked up. And as long as you can keep blaming every motherfucking body else for your fucked upness. That is you. You the worst. Yeah, we got some outside. But guess what I call that? The 80-20 rule. The 80-20. The white man 10. The TV and the radio 10. That equal 20. But 80% of your hating. All your haters. Is you. 80% of your haters is you. Your lack of self-awareness, your lack of self-love, all your self-destruction, all your self-hate. That is 80% of your haters right there. And any other haters you add to it, 
take a little bit from the white boy in the, in the, in the TV and the radio. But don't take none of that 80. Because that 80 is you. 20 is external. 80 is internal. Hey. This Legacy Local Gas Station podcast, man. Get it together, man. Learn to love yourself. Loving yourself starts by making up your bed every morning. Loving yourself is by taking care of your space. Loving yourself is by feeding yourself the correct information. Loving yourself is learning the skills and tools you need and developing the tools you need to be successful. Loving yourself is quit looking at what other motherfuckers got and what everybody else got and wanting what they got instead of developing what you got and loving the journey on the road to your success. On your mission that God has placed you in to where you're going. Love ain't goddamn well. He got the big well, he got a job and he won't give me he won't give me none. No. Love is learning how to love on you. Get you together. Don't worry about what he got. Worry about what you got. Worry about what you doing. Worry about your own self development. Worry about building you up. Worry about your character. Worry about your information. Worry about your growth. And guess what? Everybody comes to success. You ain't got to beg them to give you shit when you're successful. They come to you. And they negotiate and they recruit. And they add value because you already have value. Ladies and gentlemen, Gas Station Park. Hey, man, get those likes up. Man, share, subscribe. Man, get it to somebody who needs it, man. This is all in love. This is all in, in uh, building. This is all in, in hey, man, and in, 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 in just making legacy moves, man. Gas Station Radio. Gas Station Park. Uh, you say I'm a radio show. I keep saying radio, but Gas Station Park. Uh, fueling ground for the mind, the body, and the soul. I shouldn't say I'm at about 150 episodes. But I still say gas station radio because I've been doing it so long, man. Yeah, but I love teaching, building, doing what I do. So gas station podcast, keep your eyes open. Don't be sleep, sleepwalking. Because we like to do a lot of sleepwalking. And understand it, man, that you, God put you dominion of your own life, man. Ain't nobody else got dominion on you. And you have the ability to create and create systems. Not only just create, but create systems, create wealth, but you also have the ability to create systems of success. Just like everybody else, man. Gas Station Podcast, Legacy Moves, don't be no hater.